I am at the archaeological uh, complex of Kaleto, which is a very interesting piece of Bulgarian history. It leads back uh, even into prehistorical time, uh, Roman settlements and um, medieval times. That they also have this museum. Uh, I like how they have displayed it. They are kind of built up these modern buildings, of course. In, in a way to assemble, to look like the, the old uh, ruins that are up, up there. So you go to an, an office here where you pay the entrance fee, which is three leva. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Blagadaria. We have on, on display here. A lot of history here. It looks like an old Bulgarian rebels fighting against the enemy. Look at this guy here. Wow. Historical times. These are the things here. This is something from the old Roman times, also. This is so typical. I found these in my home. Very typical Bulgarian handwork. Many of them at my home also. This is the fortress from the outside and here they have some kind of weapons and punish things on display. I wouldn't like to be punished here. Can I lift it up and try it out? Or no? <laughs> Wouldn't be so nice to hang in these things here with your head here and the whole then the whole city and the comes and spit on you and look at you. And here we come to the ruin, an old fortress. So I guess again like with all this kind of fortress this was a a strategical point for for them to build it here to get an oh good overview over where the enemy could come. Yeah. Wow! Look so beautiful. The Iska River here. So. can come up then look at that mix the old ancient against the the new society in the back I think this is very nice and they have this light, they light these ruins up in the night. So here they could see who was coming down the river. There are a lot of different rooms here. If I come up here, have a little better view from above. Let's climb up on these walls. 
without falling down, of course, which I almost did. Okay, so here we have so many rooms. This is just the foundation that's left. Must have been an impressive building. Well, standing on on top here, climbed up on the wall, uh, and of course imagining uh, some f more floors up. Uh, I don't know how high this building was, but probably with some towers to have, to have outlookers. You can really see that you have a good overview over the surroundings here. You could even see the hills in the back far away there they had a good position here I guess here at this place they used to have every year a medieval uh, festival uh, play music and do things that uh, dress up in, in this medieval dresses and um, kind of recreate this um, the times that and the history that has been here Apparently they haven't digged out or if they are still in the process of doing this. Yeah, this fortress is still under excavation. Look how beautiful it is here by the Iska River. So, okay, I don't think you are allowed to go in here. Yeah, I think I can see over there they have some digging tools and things. interesting piece of history of Bulgarian history here these um, ruins here are apparently buildings and buildings on top of each other from different uh, times in history as far as uh, as uh, prehistoric settlements and tra tra Trakian settlements and uh, from the Roman time and from the medieval time very interesting to see these things and right at the entrance of Mestra so it's well worth a visit if you pass through Mestra and it costs three lev to, to, to come in there so it's you will not get ruined <laughs> very nice <laughs>